you suck at Valorant, but that's okay. Over 12 million players also suck at Valorant and who are hard stuck gold with thousands of hours in the game. Luckily for you, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the five best tips from the greatest pro Valorant players of all time that you can use to instantly improve your aim, game sense, and mentality. And why should you listen to me? I've studied over a thousand pros and directly applied everything I've learned into my own game, which helped me reach a peak rank of top 700 in all of North America. So sit tight, whip out the notepad, and listen up. But before we get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which also helped me reach this crazy ranked milestone, Valorant Tracker. Valorant Tracker is the best stat tracking app that helps you measure your improvement through many things like your KD, headshot percentage, win rates, best maps, and tons, tons more. My personal favorite feature feature is by far the guides menu where you're able to see the setups and lineups for all the agents in the game. You can also see your teammates ranks and stats to see who's going to toss your elo or who is going to be the messiah you needed to finally get out of silver. And you would think with all these great features that would cost a fortune. However, the best part about all of this is that it is completely free to use. So make sure to click the link in the description and pin comment to download Valent Tracker today. The first step from the GOAT himself and arguably the best NA player right now, which is Tens. And he says you should focus on being mindful while practicing and training. You do not need to play nine hours of Valorant every single day to see improvement. Just like any hobby that you're trying to improve in, the most important and most effective way to ensure that you're on the right track and see progress is to practice smarter and not harder. Many people get confused with, oh, if I play 10 times more than I'm used to, I will see improvement. And to some degree, this statement is true, but only if you're playing at your 100%. Just like going to the gym, if you come into it with only 20% of your energy and effort, was that gym session really beneficial or just a waste of time? Same thing applies to Valorant. Even if you are playing 8 hours a day and forcing yourself to play 10 ranked games, if you aren't fully focused in each and every one of them, then the extra ranked games won't really do you any favors and could actually hinder your progress due to overtraining and engraving bad habits such as non-calculated fights, reduced team play, and overall lower communication. What I suggest to all my students is to stick to a comfortable amount of games per day that you can play consistently with as well as maintain a high level of focus while doing so. For me personally, on my grind to reaching my own peak rank, I limited myself to only playing 3-4 to four games a day. However, I made sure to have a proper warm up, made sure I was focused and locked in at all times, and also made sure that I was just ready to play and not forcing myself to get into another game just to hit a certain amount of ranked games a day. If I didn't feel like playing or if I felt off, I simply just didn't play that day. And that obviously reflected off of the amount of wins I was able to get and the impact I was able to make in each game. Going to this next tip is from one of the smartest IGLs in Valorant, FNS, which is to stop tilting and always yelling at your teammates. Tilting is a very common habit that even I struggle sometimes to keep together. We all understand that Valorant can be very tilting sometimes, but that does not excuse us to be able to release our anger onto our teammates who most of the time are just trying to have fun and improve just like us. FNS gives us two solutions to solve this problem, and I'll be breaking down both of them so you guys can apply this into your own games as well. The first way to solve this problem is actually understanding that you do have a problem. And if you are a person who gets super heated and rages every single time something goes wrong, then this advice is exactly for you. Please understand that getting angry over Valorant is a waste of time. The one thing that Valorant is supposed to give us is dopamine and a sense of fun. We should be having fun. I at the end of the day, Valorant is a game. Pixels on your screen that can't affect you at all. These people that you're arguing with online who, by the way, you will never meet and will never see is just a complete waste of time and honestly a waste of your limited attention. That's why I personally never get angry anymore. Even if something stupid happens or I hear two grown men yapping to each other, I simply don't care because I understand that there are more important things to life than arguing over a video game and once you internalize this concept, I can guarantee you, you will tilt so much less. The second solution that FNS gave us to stop tilting forever is to look at it from your teammates perspective. In all honesty, we have no clue what people are going through. Most of the time when people are being toxic to you or being overly aggressive, there is probably something wrong in their lives or something they are missing which they then go on and project 
onto you. I can almost guarantee that most of the people you get into arguments with aren't inherently bad people. You just caught them at the wrong time of their day. Again, being angry is a very common and natural emotion that we have. However, in order to be better people and just improve in our own gameplay, we must stay disciplined and refrain ourselves from wasting our breath over trivial things. Now going into this third tip from the humblest of humans himself, Sinatra, which is to stop blaming your teammates and question everything. One of the only few times I actually heard advice from Sinatra, for this, he gave really awesome advice that I think a lot of players should take with them even outside of Valorant. He basically explains to stop victimizing yourself and understand that your teammates are not the problem and to question everything that you do and every action you make. First, going over not blaming your teammates, I I know it's super easy to use your underperforming teammates as a scapegoat, but I can guarantee that this will not help you in the long run, which in fact is only helping you run away from what you actually need to improve on. So how can we fix this? What Sinatra suggests we do is to actively question every single time we die. Ask yourselves what utility we could have used to avoid our death. What comms could we have made to our teammates? How could we have preemptively positioned ourselves to counter the enemy's play? These are all questions you should be asking every single time we die. This is one of the most surefire ways to improve directly off of each death you have and become better and better every single round you play. Now going into the fourth tip from one of the kindest and best IGLs of our time, which is Boaster, who says that the secret to winning is figuring out patterns. I'm sure that you've seen it before and have probably even realized it in your games, but oftentimes players seem to do the exact same things over over and over and over again, either intentionally or sometimes without even noticing it. This is because people tend to do the same thing because they are comfortable with it and never really stray away from what they know. This is what Bosa tells you to abuse them with, which is their own gameplay. Oftentimes, people will do the exact same thing, play in the same positions, and use the same utility over and over again. Capitalize on this fact and create a play around it. Going over one of my own clips in Radiant, for example, I I've seen this Ray satchel up to ramps only once. So why am I expecting it again? Because this is a very common play that I'm not only guessing that he'll do again, but that a lot of people do in general with the Sky and Rays on their team. Valorant is really easy. Only if you're able to catch onto these patterns and directly counter them with your own utility or positioning. Now finally, going into this last tip with an all-star TSM player who even has an area named after him, Sub Rosa. He states that in order to reach a level as high as he is, you need to place importance on your physical health. I feel that a lot of players, especially people who play Valorant, heavily neglect their physical health. I would be surprised to see anybody in my games be able to curl a 30 pound dumbbell, let alone go to the gym at all. You need to, and I mean need to, prioritize your physical health. Obviously, this doesn't mean you need to be a gym rat, pop massive amounts of steroids, and roid rage in your games. However, you should actively be exercising if that might be going to the gym, doing cardio, playing sports, or simply even doing a couple push-ups between ranked games. As an avid Valorant addict myself, I learned this way too late and when I finally started to take the gym seriously was when I actually was able to reach my peak rank. Not only does exercising help your reaction time, cognitive abilities, and playmaking, it also greatly boosts your confidence in yourself which directly leads to more confident decisions, gunfights, and overall more winning games. So if you struggle with confidence and even just struggle to rank up, I highly recommend to at least do some form of exercise every day if you want to take your improvement seriously and also just just have a healthier and longer life. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I genuinely hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this video. If you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord, which is linked down in the description, and also hit a follow on my TikTok as I will be focusing a lot more on my short form content and will hopefully be able to give you guys more free value and entertainment. Again, thanks everyone for watching. And if you're struggling to get out of gold and want to know how to do it fast, watch my last video, which gives you an in-depth breakdown on how to do it.